So you guys have seen me turn $11 into $1,100. You guys have seen me turn $1,000 into $10,000. But have you guys ever seen me do this? 1.1 million dollars on my forex account as you guys can see now the question is where did it start at how did i do it what strategy did i use all the little questions i know you're asking yourself you're gonna get the answers to all of that in this video not only am i gonna show you guys how i turned it into 1.1 million i'm gonna show you what i started with i'm even gonna show you the strategy i used and the exact trades i took to get to this point if you guys enjoy content like this man let me know down below i'll continue to push out content like this man we can get interactive trades strategies all that good stuff i know you guys love it so just let me know down below and i'll continue to let it out for you guys now if you have not hit that like button if you have not subscribed yet then um, what are you doing exit the video and never come back because you already took too long I'll give you one more chance hit the like button hit the subscribe button right now go ahead done we good then let's go ahead and move on now before I show you guys what I want to show you guys I do want to mention if you guys would like to use the broker that I used on this account make sure you guys go down below hit the link you will find a link to the best forex broker around be able to do flips like this with ease man you're gonna feel comfortable flipping whatever you let's say you put a grand in, you turn it into 20 grand you're gonna feel comfortable with this broker they're gonna allow you to withdraw you're not gonna have no issues it's a lightning fast broker man super super razor tight spreads zero commission accounts all kinds of good stuff man click the link down below and you can get started on that now let's get to the history of this account and then we'll go ahead and hop into the charts and we'll go over how i did it so as you guys can see man we have deposited five hundred and fifty thousand dollars into our account now of course this is a large amount but again to make a million dollars profit means that I did what? I didn't turn 500K into a million. I turned 500K into 1.5 million, meaning that I made 200% gains on my account. Now, one thing I want to mention about this account is I have been using it for a while. There is, you know, some withdrawal history on here. I did deposit from the wallet, you know, back in October. But again, this is the type of account where I'm going to actually take my time. I'm only going to take trades if I feel very, very confident in them. And if not, when it comes to my daily trading account where I'm trading every single day, I'm scalping every single day. Well, I have another account for that at a different price. You know, I don't have a, a certain account for just everything. I have multiple accounts throughout that I use for different things. So again, when I want to make a large amount of money, like again, in this case, it's been quite a few months since I've started this account, but I still made a million dollars in that span. So really, Realistically, we're looking at like 300k a month on this account by being careful picking and choosing what days I trade waiting for there to be you know the correct amount of volume in the market and all that good stuff now you guys can see man I just traded Nasdaq that's all I trade that's who I am I'm a Nasdaq killer that's what I do but again we have some serious trades here man the losses are very small very tight stop losses and I'll show you guys in a minute why my stop losses are so tight and my take profits or where I take my profit are just just levels apart there's a reason for that because i personally know if price kind of turns on me a little bit i know um it's probably time to get out okay so with that being said man i want to get into some chart work i want to break down this $122,000 win and then i want to break down the $170,000 win that we had on back-to-back -back days just a couple days ago let's get into the breakdown so before we get into the breakdown i want to show you guys that yes this is a real account obviously you guys can see that i withdraw uh, but here you go. You guys can see that's also a real live account. I don't trade no demos, no bullshit. Uh, it's all real over here. So, you know, this is the channel to be a part of. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. All that good stuff. So here are the two trades that I wanted to show you guys. These are the two biggest winning trades that I had on my account. These made me a bulk of the profits. Um, and I felt very confident in these trades. And I'll show you guys exactly why on a higher time frame. But these are pretty much what I was looking at. It's the same thing. You know, I, I trade breakouts. I, I love to trade breakouts. It's what I do. But, you know, there's a little more to this trade in particular. These two trades, I should say. Now, typically, I don't like to look at higher time frames. I do believe that, you know, they can create a little bit of fog mentally. But in this case, here's what I was looking at. Okay. Earlier in the week, I had said that we are probably going to be buying, right? Because we're in an overall channel. This is a channel that a lot of people were not calling out. A lot of people weren't talking about. They were too busy talking about the recession and, you know, the price is falling. But me personally, I said, if price breaks out of this channel, which it did in this area, well, then I'm looking for buys all through Q1, maybe even Q2 of 2023. Okay, things change. But in this moment, price did break out. So look, if you're not in my Clarity Forex app, it's 100% free. App Store, Google Store, go down below, download it. It is, like I said, 100% free. You're going to see things like this all the time for free. I told everybody NASDAQ is heading way up and look what ended up happening. I said it here. We continued up for days. We caught thousands and thousands of pips on the way up. And again, take a look at 
more of the Clarity Forex app, which you're not a part of yet, which is just ridiculous. I said, uh oh, is the gold bull run over? And then I said, are NASDAQ and gold coming down? And I talked about why I think they're coming down. I'm going to mention it to you guys right now, but if you're missing out, obviously get the app. So there's a thing that I've been creating over the last few months called the Clarity Algo. Now, in this Clarity Algo, there's just there's so much is too hard to explain, but there's buy sell signals. Okay. We have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buy signal coming in right here saying that it's time to buy and price did buy. We had a short signal come in here and price did sell. Now this is not for the public yet, but it will be soon. So be on the lookout for that. But again, when the clarity algo said it's time to buy, we broke out of the channel. I knew it was bullish and when we broke out of that 200 day moving average i really knew it was bullish and we flew from there caught major pips now i want to show you guys something else with the clarity algo so the clarity algo has something called reversal zones now what a reversal zone is is it's a zone where price most likely will retrace because it's overbought if you look at the reversal zone with the clarity algo here nasdaq was overbought yes we had a buy push yes we had indicators saying it's time to go up but it was over. Price is really starting to hit this reversal zone and reject. Now, when price typically hits this reversal zone, we do see a push, whether it's small and then price continues, we see a push down. So I said, okay, I'm done looking for buys. I'm done investing. Now I'm gonna look for short position. This is why I felt so confident taking short positions on the smaller time frame because I have these indicators telling me it's time to go down. And again, going back to the five minute time frame, we have beautiful market structure saying that we're going down. Although here we have bullish market structure. Realistically, if we look at the overall trend, we are heading back down. I mean, if we take these highs and we connect them, we're heading down, right? It's just a little bit of a retracement back up, but we're still heading down. We haven't broken that full market structure to where we've become, you know, a bullish market. So again, keeping that in mind, knowing that overall I'm looking for sales because the higher time frame is extremely bearish, we have what I like to call resistance. Now we have resistance being made. Price cannot break these highs. We hit it once, hit it twice, three times. We still could not get above this resistance zone. And we can draw lines. We can draw a zone an area. I typically like to draw zones because every broker is different. I want to get in that area of where it's at because not every broker is going to show the exact area. So I don't really like to use lines. Now, when we saw this resistance, you know, be created and price start to come down with a very large engulfing bearish candle. I'll put this in replay mode to make this a little easier for you guys to understand. But when we saw this right here, we knew it was it was time. It was time to go down because not only do we have resistance that cannot be broken, we have an engulfing bearish candle and we have a trend line break. I'm a breakout trader. If it's not a support breakout, well, then I need it to be at least a trend breakout, which we got here. Beautiful trend line, a beautiful break below. And guess what else we have, guys? We got that Clarity Algo telling us that we are now in a bearish market. Now, the Clarity Algo, again, it's not out yet. It's coming soon. It is a killer on the smaller time frames. Nobody's got an algo out there that really kills the small time frames. So be on the lookout for that when it does drop. And again, I'm not saying that you need it. You can be very successful without it. In fact, I've been very successful without it my entire career. But now this is just giving me more confluence and making it a lot easier to trade just unbelievably easier so we have that red right we have the red showing which means we're going into a bearish market we're breaking below the trend line we have the resistance the higher time frame is showing that we're dropping because we are in a major reversal zone and realistically the rest was history we came down we retraced a little bit we still stayed below the breakout we stayed below that trend line break and we plummeted major moves major moves we stayed in that red bearish market according to the clarity algo according to our market structure price action everything told us that we're still staying short so we held strong and we caught close to a lot we caught a lot of pips okay it's a thousand one hundred pips we did fairly well on this trade now i want to get into the next trade but before i get into the next trade i also want to show you guys something else Obviously we are in that reversal zone area, but again, there's other indicators that are gonna be able to tell you exactly when it's overbought or it's oversold. Now, not every indicator is gonna be a complete accurate indicator that's just deadly, deadly, deadly accurate. Listen to it every time. You have to still use market structure, use your brain, be smart with things. But the RSI is saying that we are extremely overbought as well. We're getting ready to come down. I mean, this thing is loaded with red. It's time to drop. So there's a lot of different reasons we're looking for short positions. It's not just the clarity algo, which again, you don't have to get, but there's just more multiple things saying it's overbought. We have a huge push, which could mean it's overbought just based off of candle movement, RSI, reversal zones. A lot of things are 
telling us that it's probably time to look for sell positions. And if you really don't feel like doing anything, I'm gonna show you guys another tool that Clary Algo is about to have. I mean, we have a complete pattern, breakout pattern indicator that is gonna literally tell you if there's a breakout occurring. And again, we have a perfectly drawn, I mean, this thing almost drew it dead on with me and I'm a human, I can see it. That's pretty good. We have all of our bottoms connected, all of our tops connected, and if price is gonna break out above, we take buys. If it breaks below, we take sells. It literally broke above the breakout pattern, and then guess what? We went up for almost 10%. That's big. Now here's the big boy right here, man. This trade right here alone, made us $122,000. Unbelievable trade. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I saw. Again, it's a very, very similar concept. Overall, the higher time frame says we're going down. The smaller time frame says we're we're really going down. I mean, this is a absolute bear type of market. This is a complete bearish market. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It's a, it's a bearish market. Now this is what we need. We need to see a reversal for us to get a break. If we don't reverse to the upside for a little bit, we can't create a bullish trend line to break back down to the downside. Now there's multiple ways you can look at it. You can look at it as a trend line break. You can look at it as a support line break. Either way, it's a break. You need to see that break. So I'll put this in replay mode, show you guys a better example. I tell you guys all the time, I do not take trades on close. I take trades as they are moving. So I didn't wait for this candle to close. I would have lost out on these pips, but instead I waited for price to start to break through this trend line slash support. Then I took my sell position. As it's coming down, I took my sell position right about here. Had a stop loss fairly tight, man. It's a one to eight trade right here. A lot of my trades were even tighter stop losses this one was fairly whatever I, I would typically like to be more like that because if it does reverse even a little bit because i'm getting in as it moves um then i want to get out but i had a little bit of a you know more broad stop loss here but again we got in price oh, and that's actually very good i think it was more so up here but that's good that we had a higher stop loss because we would have gotten stopped out so that helps for sure. Price continued to drop, drop, drop. And as you guys can see, it dropped it like it was hot until we finally hit massive thousand pip. Un real now again if you guys want to see more examples like this you want to see more trade breakdowns strategies all that good stuff download the clarity forex app it's 100 free the broker i use to do this flip down below in the description click that as well i love you guys i appreciate you guys i'll see you guys in the next video man leave some suggestions all that good stuff nobody's even here anymore retention rates are about two percent right now and i'll see you guys later peace